Bilingual or more speakers, what's the funniest thing you've overheard when someone didn't suspect you spoke their language? Not very interesting but a few years ago, I was a study abroad student in Tokyo. Some of us went to a sumo tournament and at lunch waited in line to get food. As we were standing there two elderly Japanese men were discussing in great detail about how there are too many foreigners in Japan and how the government should keep better track of them. I tried to ignore them but my friend snapped, turned around and asked them what time it was in Japanese. They didn't apologize but they did shut up. German slash English speaker here. While riding the train in Germany there were two American girls two seats in front of me. 17 18 years old maybe. For 45 minutes straight they spoke English and made fun of Germans for being dumb etc. When my stop came eventually I got up early and simply told them something like you shouldn't say stuff like this in Germany. English is a must-have subject in school, so I would say around 80% of the people here understand you just fine and got out the train. I spoke Swedish with my friend when I heard someone say in Finnish that we apparently don't belong here. Spanish person living in London here. My BF and I were on the tube when a Spanish woman starts criticizing everyone around her and making petty comments about their appearance etc. We looked at each other and telepathically agree to not say a word in Spanish for a while so we start talking in English to each other. As she goes on, she becomes more comfortable with the situation and gets meaner and louder. Then my boyfriend says to me in perfect Spanish I can't wait to get home tonight, I am really tired. Instead of going red and shutting up, the woman looks straight at us and says, in Spanish, you can't trust anyone, then proceeds to storm off the train with her family. So yes, apparently we offended her. I was a Peace Corps volunteer in Vanuatu. I contracted malaria while I was there. I was in fucking agony. The doctor told one of the other doctors he only has 5% malaria in his blood. I would be up playing football. I groaned I speak this llama. Give me drugs. Just recently, at a party, I overheard the Latino say, Poor girl, she doesn't know what we are saying, yet she keeps laughing at the jokes just because she sees everyone else laughing. My best friend is from Mexico. I had to go with her to her grandmother's house, and her entire family was there. I had just gotten out of the shower and so my hair was wet. Her cousins didn't know that I could speak Spanish, so they just went on and on about how stupid I looked. I didn't say anything back though because I think it's pretty funny when people don't know I can understand almost everything they're saying. I always love the language switch within earshot. From English to French in Canada. I speak Spanish and no one ever assumes I do because of the blonde hair and blue eyes. I work in sales and I love to listen to the things people say while in negotiations. Mostly people lie to me in English about what they have to spend or can afford, and I use it to my advantage. I had a lady with a pre-approved loan from her bank for $25,000, and she kept telling me that all she had was $23,000 and kept telling her friend that she planned to keep the extra $2,000, I let the cat out of the bag and responded in Spanish that loans do not work that way and she could not simply keep the remainder. She was very embarrassed and left. In hindsight I probably could have closed the deal. It's actually a story where the opposite happened. I got caught when I thought no one could understand. I was traveling in Spain with my best friend and we met this incredibly cute guy from New York. We kept talking about how he was handsome and was charming in front of him in French. We were also joking that he was my international soulmate and other ridiculous stuff. We always talked in English with him, but one day a new girl comes and she speaks only French. He started talking to her in perfect French. I was so embarrassed I avoided him and never looked him in the eyes again. I'm from Quebec, Canada, and I'm bilingual English-French. I was at a friend's party a few weekends ago, and two of her roommates are Parisian. One of them sat down with us and chatted for a while. After a bit he turned to his friend and said, in French, get me away from this boring shit. Well, sorry. I was a bit insulted. All I could think was, 
How stupid is this guy to be in Quebec and not realize that maybe one person in the room speaks French? People, sometimes. Well, I have a friend who is French-Canadian who travels to Paris on business with some frequency. He speaks English with a pretty strong accent too. Anyway, he says it is not uncommon to have a Parisian waiter switch to English after he speaks, since they think his French is just not good enough. God it chaps his ass. I speak with clients from Australia on the phone, and a lot of them are of Serbian slash Croatian slash Bosnian descent, so every time they are not satisfied with something, they hung up, but not without saying, MRSHU pitchka moderinu, which translates to go to your mother's cunt. I feel so tempted to swear back at them, but I always resist the urge, I gotta keep the job. I speak Norwegian and English. I'm Irish. I was in Ireland and I heard a Norwegian guy talking on a bus to I presume his girlfriend. I don't remember exactly what was said, but he went into great detail about what he wanted to do in the bedroom when he got home. I wouldn't call myself bilingual, but I did take three years of ASL. I watched a group of middle-aged women discuss how much they love their dildos and vibrators. I was talking with a Russian friend in a bar, and she overheard this Russian guy say I'm well endowed. I'm well endowed. Over and over on his phone. I look super white and these three women in Spanish were telling about another friend of theirs who had a threesome with these two really hot guys and now she's pregnant with twins, but they aren't sure how to go about with finding out who the father was because she's strict Roman Catholic and wants to get rid of the baby, but doesn't want to go to hell. I turned beat red as a very sheltered 16-year-old hearing it and just walked away. I hate eavesdropping on people in Spanish because everyone assumes I can't understand it, so I usually go away to give them more privacy.